all right then it's good to be back and we're doing this again by the way i'm obsessed about this book right now i i got this book in 2016 to be precise 26th of march 2016 and i read the book um, for i think about three times and i started reading the book again and i tell you i'm seeing some new things in the book that were never in the book it's um titled single married separated and life after divorce by the late um, Monroe. Anyway, welcome to Restitution with Yasmin. Thank you very much for joining us. I see your comments, I see your messages. <laughs> and I remember someone say laundry gecko, laundry girl me when I shared um, the laundry girl um, story. So I just recently launched my book, I Am a Woman. So it's in most big bookshops in Kano, um, MMR Bookshop, Arawa Bookshop. So, and also you can contact me via my social media pages, Yasmin Obadaki for that's on Instagram and also Facebook for a copy of the book. It's a beautiful book. And I was going through the book too, because I read something here um, that talked about being single. Um, there's nothing wrong with being single. Being single at a time in the life of a person to identify and know themselves meaning if you don't even know where you're going to it is not fair not fair at all to bring other people into your life that's not love that's that's not it love is look i know where i'm going to and i think you will help me go faster or go far so let's go together so it's not about you know i just wake up today and i think everybody is having these let me have it no so being single it's one of the most important one of the most important stages in our lives especially for women as a woman it is a time to know who you are gong 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 like this is me this is my temperament this is my sexuality yeah so my preference this is what i like what i don't like see i say this a lot i say i'm a serial date you know i date serially i date for a month for, t- <laughs> for three years <laughs> like i just learned things like i date and then i'm like oh so that happens too mm, i don't know all right so i don't have a problem with pe- with serial dates or casual dates or people who just date casually i don't have a problem with that because i think if you feel that to know yourself better you need to have more than one encounter with people then fine i'm not saying you sleep with everybody you know i'm not saying you even sleep around i'm just saying go on a date get to know people talk to people let people you know say things outside your usual comfort zone no problem i tell you no problem you 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 notice that the way some people think and do things eh it is not as funny as you think it is you you might just think oh what's wrong with this person why is this person talking like this i tell you it comes from foundational issues background upbringing so when you meet people communicate with them give them the opportunity to be themselves it helps you it helps you to know yourself better how to interact with people and relate with people better so um i don't have a problem that i would say well done if i meet people doing that so in reading this book and also reading um some pages of my book i am a woman i i realized i had done a write-up for my website some years back about um loving the broken woman and i decided to do something very quick about it loving the broken woman loving a woman who has been heartbroken she's been heartbroken plenty times she has been in failed relationships plenty times how do you love such a woman well it's it's um it's hard 
simple let's not romance the truth it is hard loving a woman who has truly given herself out to someone and it has either been rejected trampled on you understand her self-esteem shattered so when a woman in fact when a person goes through that in life it's an issue let alone for a woman now why why i am so passionate about it and maybe you understand why i really love the title of my book i am a woman is the fact that as women a lot of us we go through this series of heartbreaks a, a series of heartbreaks it happens with mr a it happens with the b with mr c some are faults some not our faults but it happens the hurt is there the pain has happened you have to heal so when this thing happens over and again there is a pattern okay there is a pattern already and then it is very dicey here if you find a man who isn't following that pattern there's a problem and when you find a man who follows the pattern two things happen the relationship breaks up again hits the rock almost immediately or the woman has finally agreed to stay in a loveless relationship to stay in a relationship where her self esteem zero happiness zero all because she's insecure she just wants to be with somebody let me be with somebody everybody's getting married everybody's with somebody if there's a reunion now everybody's bringing their man their partner i should also bring somebody now one of this two will happen but before we get to this point as a man as that god sent brother as that god fearing man as that lucky one who's coming into her life now what are those things that should matter what are those things you should never forget as you relate with her as you date her as you love her very important things very very important things i want to share so first thing i would say is loving a heartbroken woman uh, a shattered woman it's serious work and i just told you who a shattered woman is or broken woman a heartbroken woman i've told you already now loving her is hard work so the first thing you do is be patient is be patient now just remember you'll be like how do i know she's a broken woman how do i know she has gone through a series of you know when i ask her what's up are you dating and she says i'm single would i continue poking and poking that i want to know and hey, how did your last relationship end i'll tell you the signs you know why because i have been there i am still walking through it all right so i tell you the first sign is this sarcastic sarcasm is your is your defense they're always sarcastic there's not they don't want to take anything serious so even when you come around you're like i like you they're like ah, friends on you you're my brother and now mm, i beg you know they just try to water whatever you feel for them because of the fear of look all i have is my heart and if i give this out again would i get it back in one piece so there is that fear big fear don't blame them don't blame us it's natural for us to be that scared because it has happened over and again it has happened more than once so we will definitely be scared insecure and all of that but this is what you need to know sarcasm is our defense so everything is not real everything that we're playful we're not serious we'll try to be funny mm-hmm. even when we are not funny we'll try to say funny things do funny faces like i do and then we're sort of distant 
very distant when somebody is trying to get really close we're like mm, mm, mm. i'm not at home i have a job interview i'm very busy i have something to do like you just don't want to get close now these are the signs when you see women like this I, I'm very serious that most women you see who are like, yeah, you're my bro, I'm your sis. Blah, blah. You see them and you're like, oh, she's also on board. You know, she's like my friend, she's my boy. It's a lie, yo. It is just karma to cover the fact that we are very soft, emotional, and very fragile inside. So because we're that inside, we don't want another person to take us down that truth. So what we do is put up that defense. Do you understand? Because you see, heartbreak for us, eh? hmm. especially when you have one or two things to do in the public, like you're in the public light, it's hard. I mean, it's worse than Cersei's walk of shame in Game of Thrones. It is worse. This one is like two times that one. You know, she walked from the palace. You know, people who had seen you, admired you, loved you, respected you, feared you. And all of a sudden, they see you all naked and they can, you know, they could spit on you. They could do whatever they wanted to say, whatever they want to say to you. So that's shame. So going through something like that, in public is really hard and talking about loving a broken woman somebody who comes to mind is Sierra and that's why I applaud her man Russell that man is God sent honestly he, he's God sent nah, not because of how much money he has how rich he is the responsibility no but loving a woman that has gone through such kind of um, heartbreak publicly shame disgrace it's a lot so first and foremost it's patience be patient with her be very very patient with her sometimes you're gonna feel like she's still in love with that guy sometimes she will say things and do things and you'll be like i think she still has feelings for that man no she doesn't it's just that she has moved past him but she hasn't moved past what he has done to her. Now that's it. Every man who's dating a woman who has gone through some kind of hell. I want you to know that today. Just know this today. It's not that she's still in love with him. It's just that she still remembers what he has done what he has done to her she still remembers the abuse she still remembers the disrespect she remembers it so that's what gets her all motion wishes sometimes or when she sees him she's angry or she wants to talk about him not because she's in love number two don't be over indulging okay so because she she she's been heartbroken a couple of times and you coming into in her life so what you do is like oh you want this get it you want that you should do it you should have this you know you want to call her sweet names even when she's out Tridly being petty, you still feel ah uh, no 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 you're not being petty you're just awesome no stop it be straight be frank with her if she's been messy or being petty or being annoying let her know look you're being annoying you're being mean to people who truly care about you so you need to stop calm down faraburuku bale so just <laughs> So just calm down, okay? So don't be overindulgent. And like I said earlier on, save the sweet names because she has heard it. Mm -hmm. The one that told her I love you so much, but the next weekend he was getting married to another woman. To called her sweetheart, called her mama, called her Yawomi, called her uh, my life, called her is it Sarah? Yeah, uh -huh. called her all those sweet names. So don't do sweet names for now when you start up a relationship with a broken woman. You know, just call her her name. Um, I don't think you should put the madam or anything. If her name is Yasmin, straight up call her Yasmin. 
have a conversation. It will gradually grow. Let her be the first one to take the step with pet names and call you sweetheart, darling, baby, my love, candy, whatever it is. In as much as you don't get diabetes at the end of the day, so you do it. So let her start and then you join her. And then don't rush the... You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> don't rush the intimacy part. Let it happen on its own. I mean, if if you don't have any sort of religious uh, stuff stopping you from, you know, indulging in such don't rush it let it be from her don't rush it don't be quick to say oh you hot you so sexy oh mama you brown sugar can i just have a lick no stop that don't do that okay don't do that at all it's not you're gonna scare her because she has seen the same because she 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 knows that pattern that trends she's used to it so when you start she's like uh, it's the same thing you know, that so 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 person did that he wants to do i know the game he wants to play so don't 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 go into that just let it happen on its own let it just be her who wants it and then you can flow flow and flow and um, i think i've talked about being patient don't be overindulging don't rush sex the intimacy okay now um i want to talk about something very important which is promises don't make promises you can't keep i'm serious don't make promises you can't keep because that's gonna be worse you know i I remember just getting out of a a really messy um situation of course relationship one time and i met this very cute um eligible bachelor you know what i'm talking about and i remember the first few times i visited he was doing some kind of renovation at his place and a few times i visited i remember in the kitchen he was telling the furniture guy the guy was going to make the cabinet for the kitchen he was telling the guy um you know the person that is going to use the kitchen she's here yes me too that was how I carried my leg. And I said, quick, quick, me. Bah, 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 bah. I was in the kitchen. And he said, look at her. She's not tall. So don't make the cabinet too high. Ah! I still, I think about the, the, that, that incident, like that scenario. I still think about it and I'm hurt. Honestly, I am so hurt when I still think about that anyway so he was like oh so she's the one that's gonna be in the kitchen she's the madame of the house and then i was feeling up yes as the madame of the house so i was telling the captain so that's a furniture guy that okay don't make it too tall i want it like this i want it like that why am i sweating today what is going on i think the topic is just steamy anyway so i wanted like this i wanted like that uh the carpenter was busy taking the measurements my dear my people this guy moved into his house and i had no idea and i can tell you today i never cooked in that kitchen so i'm just trying to say don't make promises to women like this don't tell them you want to take them to uh, disney anywhere you want to take them to the city of love paris don't do that i will be the first one to buy you a car don't do that i will be the first man to know don't worry it ends here i am your final boss stop i will marry you you see don't mind all these other men i will change the history of eh don't make promises you can't keep up in fact don't make any promises be salam don't make any promises if you're gonna be in her life you be there you do what you can do because you don't know what tomorrow is you don't know what tomorrow holds so don't do that at all nah don't do that 
Don't make promises you can't keep. And be consistent. Because she's going to eventually, eventually fall in love with you. If you're always calling her, you're always checking up on her. I mean, you just go visit her randomly. Um, you help her out with her projects. You care so much about her. Whatever it is you're doing, if you're dancing for her, mm-hmm. if you're writing poems and all of that, mm-hmm. whatever it is you're doing, you need to be consistent. Just continue. Because that's what she is falling in love with gradually. That's the process. That's the channel. So the moment you like, bam, you stop it. There's going to be an issue, another breakdown. Yes, there's a time heals everything, all wounds. But I disagree. I disagree. Some, some wounds don't disappear. Some wounds don't heal. And no matter how much you try, it leaves you with a scar. And I tell you, the scar is worse than the wound. If you have a wound here, for instance, and it lasts for, let's say, two weeks, three weeks, and it's over, it's gone. Forgotten the pain and everything. But imagine having the scar somewhere hidden. Forever feel and the whole world. So, give him a chance. It's a gradual process. Look, you're going to move on. You're going to grow with this pain. You're going to learn to see this car and not cry again or feel vengeful or resentful. But you see the scars and you'll be like, lesson learned. But I was some good, strong woman. I am a woman. I am strong. I will work with fire on me. But everything it is, I am still that strong, beautiful woman. So my point is, give that man a chance. Give him a chance. Try something off the pattern. If he treats you different from the way all the Oniranus them have been treating you, don't drive him away. Don't push him. Enjoy it. I mean, he hasn't done anything. So give him a try. But at the same time, protect your heart. I understand the my heart and all of that. So protect that. But as much as you're protecting your heart, fall in love again. Enjoy love again. Love and be loved again. Because I tell you, the love you gave that one that didn't work, that's exactly what this one needs. So he's going to be patient with you. He's going to wait for you to come around. Because I tell you, he sees your strength. He sees you fighting that darkness inside. He respects your strength. It's not about what's between your legs for him. What heals you completely is true love. And this man has that. So you give him a try and I tell you, We'll have another song that we sing in soon. Thank you so much for being part of Restitution. Don't forget, this is it. So you click on and subscribe. And you can also follow us on Instagram, the Restitution, Moradi TV on YouTube, Moradi TV on Instagram, Yasmin Obadakin Instagram. And also on Facebook, we have the Restitution page. So whatever it is you're going through and you want to talk to somebody, I am here. Yes, man is here. Thank you for being part of the show. I'll see you again on restitution with Yes, man.